Okay, reference variable. Let me go here. And this is a value parameter. I'll commit this piece. Okay, and let's go to main, right? So I'll introduce this in main. We'll create a test case eventually. So we go to value ref params and main. So we go here. take care of the maintenance setup, the configuration. So we have iostream and we're using cout. Okay, so we create one variable. Let's keep it simple. So we say int num equals the number five. So I've been saying that functions are loaded onto memory. This represents a memory address and then we have a memory block given to main but can can we somehow prove that can can we prove that somehow meaning we have a let me copy the code over here we're just interested in this piece here okay so let's go and create our stack so we have stack uh, heap uh, free store it's not used for this example either but it's available right to, if we wanted to use it but it's not used we have stack main gets loaded main value 5 I'm just gonna make up some number here like x 100 x represents like some large memory address number okay can can we somehow ask C++ hey like are you sure that variables are like stored in some memory address uh, how can C++ help us answer, answer that piece right so the answer is yes right so we go here and it's like okay Let's go here, we'll say int, and then we use the memory operator, the ampersand, it's it's the memory operator. So we're like, hey, uh, I want to create a variable that <coughs> uses the memory operator. The term for this type of variable is reference variable. And I'll say num underscore ref. And what this can do is reference the address of another variable. So here we're like, hey, like can I reference num with num ref? That's what I'm saying. And if I reference it, can I like ask, ask C++ give me the memory address of num? Can can I ask C++ that? And yes, we can. We can say uh, give me the memory address of num right so let's see here okay so let's see what happens here let me clear running terminal
I didn't put uh, backslash n, but right here, you see memory address of num is some large hexadecimal number ends in 8674. So it's like, oh wow, like we can like make it spit out some number and we're like, well maybe, um, let me create another number. So I'll say int num1 equals 10. And I'll be like, okay, let me say num1 reference variable equals the memory address of num1. And I'll want you to show me the address of that one too. And we run it again. So run in terminal. Oh. Let me see. It was generating an error. Let me see here. Uh, num1. Oh, no. Oh, I misspelled, I misspelled this piece. It's num1 ref, right? Okay. So now let's go back here and run it again. So we have a uh, memory address of a num is some large hex ends in 0 DEC and then 0 DEH, right? So, so let me go here, right? So hex numbers usually go uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Think. and 15 right and so forth and so forth so if we go back and look at the number that was generated let me see here no it's not the same so we'll, we'll get to pointers eventually okay so so we have dec Eight. So if we go back to our diagram, we can be like, oh, so this could be like uh, DEC instead of uh, 100, and then this one could be DE8. So we have C, and then we have 8. So then the number, the address numbers... decrease. Stack address numbers decrease, meaning like it's going downward, right? So we start with some large number, and that's why I, I created this so we can see. Oh, so C is larger than eight. So if DEC is for num one and DH for num two, then we can be like, okay, so stack numbering goes down. So from from here, why why am I introducing this? From now on, I will simply always start at 100 because it's an easy number that we're used to 100 and then we'll be like the next one is 96. why 96 anyone we were at 100 and then 96. because it is smaller it's five so bits okay bits yeah we're on the right path right so how many how many bytes does it take to store an integer four right so we stored an integer here so meaning like there would be like four addresses taken up here but we don't want to create like a super big diagram so we'll, we're, we're just going to bytes right b y t e s right so so let me uh refresh your memory so we have uh oops let me go with a different color one two three four five six seven so th these here are bits so we have eight bits and eight bits is one byte right so eight bits equal one byte so we have 
four bytes for an for an integer. Remember, four times eight, thirty-two bits would would span to cover an integer in C++. Why? Because that allows the maximum value that an integer can hold to be like two point one billion something, right? To the thirty-first power. So that's why we I choose this numbering scheme here. Okay, so. Please remember that, and that way you're not like, well, where is he coming up with those numbers? Okay, it all has to do with how numbers are stored, or characters, or doubles are stored in the computer's memory. Okay, so having known that, let's go back to our example, right, and, and finish this thought up. So, so what are we doing here? We are referencing the address of another variable, meaning numref stores the address of num and we prove that by saying hey give me the, the memory of num and then num1 but how about show me the value of num via num ref let me explain so a reference variable is not stored in memory let me make a, an entry here for that reference variable. We'll only deal with uh, numref, okay? Make it simpler. Let me copy that code, and I'll finish my thought here. So we did this piece here. If you understand uh, the first two, then you'll understand the second two statements. So we go here. Okay, so, so numref references address x100 so then numref references that address too okay and this one is that one okay so oops sorry that was for main let me eliminate this piece okay and we prove that by displaying the value the, the address but the address is just an address we have to like finish the investigation by telling numref hey like give me show me the value of num via numref that one doesn't really clear it up for us right show me the value of the variable num that you reference and then we can say okay so how do i do that well we simply get the name of the variable backslash n. Let me do a backslash n here. What do you all think will display in this statement 15? We can go and look at the diagram. And then ref, if we follow it here, is referencing which address? This address. So what value will it display? Five, right so let's go and see if that's the case so we go here and we're like okay run in terminal and notice here five right so let me reference reference let me correct that but we do get right here the value five so if we go back and look at our diagram it's like oh yeah so like numref can reference the address of another variable make it very clear numref is not on the stack it's somewhere else another region of memory we don't care where it is right but it's not on the stack but it is referencing the address of num which holds the value 5 and that's what we show here like this here displays the value 5 so now the question is so so if you reference another mem another variable's location, can you modify the value? Can numref indirectly modify the value? So if we say numref equals 10, will the value of num change from 5 to 10? What do you all think? Ten, right so we have one that says it should be 10 so 
let's see show uh, so change and then we'll be like okay so let's go here again we'll just do the same output right so let's see what we get so let me clear this output here run in terminal and it did it did change the value and we shouldn't be surprised like from the diagram like if we are referencing this value then then we should be able to modify it so the value changed from 5 to 10 from the code i uh, showed you right here even though we're not saying num equals 10 we are saying num ref equals 10 but num ref is referencing the same address where num lives so it's kind of like oh yeah like it was able to modify the value that is the concept of a reference variable it can uh, reference another variable's location so question here oh, hold on. i'll get some water real quick No question. So everything's crystal clear. Makes in, making sense. Okay, so no questions. This is a second type of parameter that exists in in most programming languages, right? So Let's uh, create an example with this, right? So let me stop here and then I'll start.